Hey, all right, Eric here from Around Two at RC, and today we've got the E-Flight Blade Series helicopters on my work table here, and we're going to showcase this one in the center, but let's talk about all three real quick. This is the Blade MSR. It's a fixed pitch micro heli that I've been having a lot of fun with. This one right here is the Blade SR. It's a collective pitch heli that is a real great uh, helicopter. I've been using it uh, lately. This one has been my favorite. But this one just came out yesterday at my local hobby shop. And we're going to get a real close look at this one. This is the Blade 120 SR. It's a fixed pitch heli. And basically, from what I can tell, my first thoughts are it's the bigger brother to the Blade MSR. Everything else about it is looks very similar to this one. So we're going to talk about this one. We're going to show you what comes in the box. I'm going to show you the advanced setup for the swash plate, and then we're going to go fly it. Okay? All right. This is the bind and fly version that I bought from my local hobby shop. That's the one we're going to look at today. I'm going to bind it to my DX7 transmitter, and then we're going to go out and fly it after we look at everything here on the table. First thoughts is it's a really great looking heli. I've actually already flown it once and trimmed it out with uh, one battery. It's flying really good. In the box, you get the helicopter. You get a small parts bag with a screwdriver and uh, a couple of other parts. You get the manual. You get a one cell, 3.7 volt, 500 milliamp battery. Whoops. And you also get the charger for it the LiPo charger with the AC adapter to it, which is really cool. Now I understand this is a Selectra charger that also comes with the E-Flight Tandem helicopter. Not real sure on that. I've heard that at the hobby shop. Could be true, not real sure. But it does come with the adapter to change it over to the Dean's plug that comes with this battery. So as far as I know right now, this is a unique battery to this helicopter. It doesn't fit anything else. If I'm wrong, somebody correct me in the comments. But you're going to have to buy some more of these because this thing is a lot of fun from what I've seen. So that's basically it in a nutshell. What you get in the box, in the bind and fly version. The heli, a battery, the manual, a charger, and a small parts bag. Now, I've already bound, uh, I bound it to my DX7 transmitter. Right now, we're going to get a close-up look at the swash plate, and we're going to go over the advanced swash plate settings. We're going to change it on this one. Then we're going to go outside and fly it, okay? Okay, I've got the heli set up where we can get a good tight close-up shot of the swash plate. And the only thing I'm going to use is a screwdriver to point out what I'm looking at and a pair of needle-nose pliers to move the uh, the ball links around. So let's read it from the book. Advanced swash plate settings. The Blade 120 SR comes with an adjustable swash plate. Advanced pilots may benefit from a more aggressive setup. To achieve a more aggressive setup, pop off the lower rotor head links and move them to the longer set on the inner swash plate control balls. Note, always attach links to the control balls opposite each other. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. Let me zoom the camera in, and then we'll get started. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take off the canopy so we can get a good clean shot there of the head. And there's the swash plate right there. And there's the links that they were talking about on each side. And the balls are right there. Now you see that's the, the shorter set. And if you turn it here to the side, you see the longer set right there. That's one of them. And then on the opposite side, there's the other one. Whoops, there's the other one. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pop off the links here from the shorter balls, and we're gonna put them on the longer ones. Right there, okay? So that's why I've got my needle nose pliers ready. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna grab it very gently, pull it off. I'm gonna rotate it, I'm gonna do it to the, to the other side the same way. Grab it, gently pull it until it pops off. Now you might be able to do that with your fingers, but I just like using the needle nose pliers to do it. It's a little bit easier. Okay, so now we're going to rotate the swash plate so that we connect the links to the longer set right there. OK. 
Okay, let's connect that one right here. I might be able to do this with just my fingers. Okay, here we go. Yep, that was easy. Pushed it on. All right, let's rotate it around. And it's already lined up to do it for that one right there. So let's just push it on. And that's it. Now you need to make sure that uh, your links stay inside the, uh, the guide here when you do that because they could fly out. But other than that, that was the simple adjustment for the advanced watch plate setting. So now let's go outside and let's give it a try, okay? Should have landed it. Can you land it? Yeah, I can. I want to see you land it. Take two. Very good. Catch it. Catch it. Now you want me to catch it. <laughs> That's the Blade 120 SR. It's a fixed pitch heli made by E-Flight, and I really enjoyed flying it. I hope you did too, watching me fly it. I'm glad you got to see me again, and we'll catch you later on the tube, okay? <laughs>